Okay, so I've marked these holes out at 180 distance. And I'm going to drill the holes for this bath tab set. Now, just a little trick. Obviously, measure everything out and then put your taps on to make sure that the distance of the holes you've marked is correct. Otherwise, you can end up drilling the holes in the wrong place. That would never be good. Make sure that this is really tight because you don't want this jumping off and jumping into the bath. Measure twice, cut once. And here we get one washer. resin finish coat on the fiberglass. They make any of the pieces sticking up really, really sharp and they dig into your skin like so when I was carrying the bath up. It just twisted all these little sharp pieces.
choose the tap spanner on this, but no, the rear spanner is much easier. Now, isn't it beautiful? Bella, 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 I've shown you this a thousand times. Let's do it once more, huh? So, flex connector on the bath, wonderful. My two pipes. Pretty sure I've done soldering in other videos. I'm going to show you pipe bending soon. So this goes on to here. The paste is amazing stuff. This is the gas and water joining compound. This stuff. If you really want that in your tool bag. That thing goes into there. That thing goes into there. And we got we got pipes fitted. The reason I'm putting a push fit joint on here is because I still have this race to do. So it makes this, and I need to do the connections underneath the bath into there, which I'll do pretty soon. So I'll leave those on. And they're just all ready to go. I could take a little bit off that. And I could probably take a little bit off that. That's the beauty of push fit joints. Like and subscribe.